An infinite number of mathematicians walk into a bar, in an infinite number of sets. The first one is in a set by herself. She goes up to the bartender, who is also the owner, and says, I'd like one beer. The bartender says, sure, and pours her one beer. At this point, he has sold one beer. The bartender asks, what is this, some kind of convention? The first mathematician answers, no, it's a convergence. The next set approaches the bar. It has an infinite number of mathematicians. The first one says, you know what that first mathematician had? Well, that sounded good, but I'm not that thirsty. I'll have half of what she ordered, so one half of a beer. The next one said, I'll have half of what she's having, so one-fourth of a beer. The next one said, I'll have half of what she's having, so one-eighth of a beer. The next one said, I'll have half of what she's having, so one-sixteenth of a beer. The next one said, I'll have half of what she's having, so one-thirty-second of a beer. The next one said, I'll have half of what she's having, so one-sixty-fourth of a beer. The next one said, I'll have half of what she's having, so one-one-hundred-twenty-eighth of a beer. The next one said, I'll have half of what she's having, so one-two-hundred-fifty-sixth of a beer. The bartender interrupts, saying, that's too much work. He pours one beer. gives them an infinite number of glasses, and says, divide it amongst yourselves. At this point, he has sold two beers. As the next infinite set approaches the bar, the bartender asks, do you have to order like they just did? The first mathematician says, remember what the very first person ordered? Well, that sounded good, but I'm not that thirsty. I'll have a third of what she ordered, so one-third of a beer. The next one said, I'll have a third of what she's having, so one-ninth of a beer. Next one says, I'll have a third of what she's having, so one-twenty-seventh of a beer. The next one says, I'll have a third of what she's having, so one-eighty-first of a beer. Next one said, I'll have a third of what she's having, so one two hundred forty third of a beer. The next one says, I'll have a third of what she's having, so one seven hundred twenty ninth of a beer. The bartender interrupts, saying, That's too much work. He pours a half of a beer. gives them an infinite number of glasses, and says, divide it amongst yourselves. At this point, he has sold two and a half beers. As the next infinite set approaches the bar, the bartender says, these are some very odd fraction factions. The first mathematician says, remember what the very first person ordered? That sounded good, but I'm not that thirsty. I'll have a fourth of what she ordered, so one-fourth of a beer. The next one said, I'll have a fourth of what she's having, so one-sixteenth of a beer. The next one says, I'll have a fourth of what she's having, so one-sixty-fourth of a beer. The next one says, I'll have a fourth of what she's having, so one-two-hundred-fifty-sixth of a beer. The next one said, I'll have a fourth of what she's having, so one one thousand twenty-fourth of a beer. The bartender interrupts, saying, that's too much work. He pours a third of a beer, gives them an infinite number of glasses, and says, divide it amongst yourselves. 
At this point, he has sold two and five-sixths beers. As the next infinite set approaches the bar, the bartender says, Let me guess, you all want a fifth of whiskey. The first mathematician says, You're close, but close only counts in engineering. I want a fifth of what the very first mathematician had, so one-fifth of a beer. The next one said, I'll have a fifth of what she's having, so one-twenty-fifth of a beer. The next one says, I'll have a fifth of what she's having, so one one hundred twenty fifth of a beer. The next one says, I'll have a fifth of what she's having, so one six hundred twenty fifth of a beer. The bartender interrupts, saying, That's too much work. He pours one fourth of a beer. gives them an infinite number of glasses, and says, divide it amongst yourselves. At this point, he has sold three and one-twelfth beers. At this point, the bartender calls over an assistant manager. He says, I've got to get going. There's a Houston Oilers game I want to see. As far as these mathematicians, they don't know their limits. The second group asked for a half of a half of a half, but I served them one beer. Next was a third of a third of a third, and they got half of a beer. The fourths got a third. The fifths got one fourth. The next group will ask for an endless amount of sixths, and you're going to serve them a fifth of a beer. Then you'll serve a sixth, then a seventh, so on and so forth like this forever. Ignoring the larger socioeconomic ramifications, this is going to be a great night for us. We're going to sell an infinite amount of beer and make an infinite amount of money. The assistant manager, who considers himself something of an amateur mathematician, says, Well, hang on, that doesn't sound right. With each group, the amounts we're serving were becoming smaller and smaller fractions. The, the longer we do this, the closer the amounts are getting to zero. As we approach an infinite amount of time, well, for all intents and purposes, we'll eventually be selling zero beers. And if we reach a limit like that, we're not adding to the total anymore, and we won't be selling an infinite amount of beer. The owner says, well, I see the logic of how you arrived at your conclusion. However, you are incorrect. Adding together all of those fractions will never reach a limit, and I've discovered a truly marvelous proof for this, but I don't have time to contain it here. 